Word problems. We need to make a number sentence to solve a word problem. Writing a number sentence will help us to organize the information in the problem so that we can solve it. Addition word problems. Addition word problems combine or join two groups of objects. We need to look for the words add, all together, or how many in all. If we see any of these words in the problem, then we know that we will need to add to find the answer. Here are three steps to solving a word problem. Step 1. Read and understand the problem. Here's an example. Jessica has four carrots. Her mom bought her four more carrots. How many carrots does Jessica have in all? We need to find out how many carrots Jessica has in all. Step 2. Plan and solve the problem. We see the words how many in all, so we know that we need to add. The numbers 4 and 4 from the problem are the numbers that we need to add together. We will write a number sentence that looks like this, 4 plus 4. We will use the doubles strategy to find out the answer. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Step 3. Look back and check your work. Does your work make sense? Did you find out how many carrots Jessica had in all? Yes, we found out that Jessica had 8 carrots in all. Let's try another one. There were 6 puppies playing with a ball. 3 more puppies came to play with them. How many puppies were playing all together? Step 1. We need to find out how many puppies were playing all together. We need to add. Step 2. There were 6 puppies and 3 more came to play. 6 plus 3. We can use the count up strategy. 6 count up 3 more, 7, 8, 9, to find the answer. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Step 3. Does your answer make sense? Did we find out how many puppies were playing all together? Yes, there were nine puppies playing all together. Subtraction word problems. Subtraction word problems separate two groups of objects. We need to look for the words subtract, take away, or how many are left. If we see any of these words in the problem, then we know that we need to subtract to find the answer. We will use the same three steps to solve subtraction word problems. Step 1. Read and understand the problem. Sam had five crackers. He ate two of the crackers. How many crackers are left? Step 2. Plan and solve the problem. We see the words, how many are left, so we know that we need to subtract. The numbers 5 and 2 from the problem are the numbers that we need to subtract. We will write a number sentence like this, 5 minus 2. We will use the count back strategy. Start at 5 and count back 2, 5, 4, 3. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Step 3, look back and check your work. Does your work make sense? Did you find out how many crackers Sam had left? Yes, we found out that Sam had three crackers left. Let's try another one. There were ten lizards playing on a rock. Six of the lizards decided to go for a swim. How many lizards were left playing on the rock? Step 1. We need to find out how many lizards were left. We need to subtract. Step 2. There were ten lizards, then six left. Ten minus 6. We can use a number line to help us solve this problem. Put your finger on the number 10 and count back 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We ended on the 4, so this means that 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. Step 3. Check your work.
Does our answer make sense? Did we find out how many lizards were left? Yes, we found out that there were four lizards left on the rock.